Galatians 4, verse 7. You are no longer a slave, but a son. And since you are a son, God has made you also an heir. I wonder if you remember, oh, way back, there was this uh, sitcom called Upstairs Downstairs. And the servants lived downstairs, literally, and in a cellar, kind of way down there. And the uh, important people lived upstairs. And the servants crept upstairs. Yes, master. Yes, yes, yes. yes. And they, they served their tea, and they maybe they listened at doors as to what was going on. But they had no rights. They had no rights upstairs. They didn't belong there. They were downstairs. They were paid employees. Meanwhile, the people upstairs lived privileged lives. They were the people in the know. They were knowledgeable. They knew what was happening. And they disposed of events with an almost an arrogant air. Do you see what Paul's saying? Now, I know Paul said he called himself slave of Christ, but he was meaning something particular there. And right here, he means something slightly different. He's saying, you are not servants. You are sons. He was talking to this particular church who had a particular problem. The problem was that they had been saved by grace through their faith in the Lord Jesus Christ. And now they were going back to the law, the kind of legalistic requirements that they'd been used to before. And Paul was pleading with them to remember their new position in Christ. You're not, you're not a servant. You're a son. And if you're a son, you're an heir. You've got a legacy coming. There's a completely different thing. You know, servants are paid. Sons are privileged. Servants can be dismissed. Sons can be disowned, maybe. But blood will out. They always have a claim on the family. Sometimes you meet Christians who cringe around like a cap. Uriah Heep. And I believe God's saying, you're not a servant, you're a son. You're a son. And we can forget that we have the run of the house. We forget that we have the arm of a father around us that's saying, all this belongs to you. We forget our privileges. We forget our position. We forget our power. Where we are. Servants work for a reward. Sons can work, but they work from a reward. You don't ever perform before God. It's all privilege. It's all gift. It's the free gift of God. Lest any man should boast. You can't say, I deserve it. You never deserve it. You can never earn God's approval because you can't earn anything <laughs> you're not a servant you're a son and then he puts this word no longer you're no longer a servant I think that's very interesting that suggests to me that you could just get it wrong that you could slide back downstairs and forget that your place is upstairs with the champagne and the cigars and leaning back in the comfy chairs you are no longer what are you doing what are you doing downstairs get back up here God calls us to a particular kind of privilege because you are no longer a servant you're a son Amen